All right, well, if you're watching this video, there's a good chance you can't get your spare tire out from underneath your Ford either, and you're beating your head against the wall like I was just a few minutes ago. So this is what worked for me. Um, of course, I don't have the key for my uh, spare tire. I bought the truck used, and uh, the last guy must have kept the key. So um, I tried the bolt extractors. If you guys are also looking around online, you're gonna see I had uh, the three sizes. These are the only three of these bolt extractors that I have of this type. Um, I've got a half inch, uh, 9 16 and a 5 8 and if those are the right size I couldn't get them to work so I was fighting up in there you know I can you can barely just see what you're doing I took my tailgate off to give me a little more room to work in here I pulled the guide tube out which you just simply pull on it or twist it and pull I don't know I was frustrated and just tugged it out of there um, and then I also took this little plastic little trim ring snaps right out just to give myself a, as much room as possible here um, and if you, you know, kind of stand on your head and hold the flashlight just so with your mouth cocked just right, you can kind of see what you're doing up in there. So I could tell that these, I, I've, I think the, the little two wouldn't go on and the big one wasn't engaging or something. I don't know. Anyhow, I ran across another video online, a guy using this piece of, uh, I think he called it half inch or three quarter inch EMT or something like that. I don't know if that's just, you know, galvanized conduit or what, but, um, I took that idea and, and kind of went over to my junk pile and this is what I had the closest thing, uh, the closest piece of pipe laying around. It's an old tent pole and uh, I was able to fish that up in there. I kind of see what I was doing again just barely. I could see that I was getting the end of the pole on the key. Here's my key. And, uh, and I kind of give it a couple little love taps and uh, I could feel, you know, then I kind of love tapped it on there and, and tried to turn the, the mechanism, you know, to get it. I could feel that it was just spinning on the key here, so um, I figured, you know, well, to be honest with you, I was frustrated, so I just beat that some bitch on there. I give it, I think, one or two good whacks. I figured I was just going to drive the thing in there and then just pop it out. Sure enough, that's what happened. So I uh, whacked it a couple real good times. It drove the key up inside the conduit, and then I just pop the conduit and the key popped right out so there's not a whole lot of friction holding the thing in um, so if you can get lucky and get just the right size of conduit or that the other guy that gave me you know the idea he put rubber he uh, zip tied rubber around it and uh, kind of tucked that rubber down in there and that's how he engaged his key to pop it out so that worked out real well uh, but for you guys that are uh, really wanting to know what these dimensions are I'm gonna try to get some uh, harbor freight numbers with my uh, caliper here so we'll zero this out and this very outside dimension you see 584 this is inches the overall diameter is about 686 and the pipe that I'm using or conduit or tent pole whatever you whatever you want to call it it's uh, I'm gonna guess this is they probably call this a three-quarter three-quarter inch conduit or something that's you know about 753 there and now the end wasn't perfect when I started you know I was in a junk pile so uh, it's most certainly not perfect now that it's been kind of flared out but now it's uh, 663 um, so anyhow hopefully that'll help you hopefully this video helps you guys uh, if I can help you in any other way with this leave a comment I'll, I'll try to give you some advice but um, this is just a bear to do so um, you know it beats paying big bucks to go to the dealer uh, I actually called the dealer about this you know I wanted to buy a key they said you have to bring your truck in we have a master key that will remove your key with then we can order you a key so they wouldn't even just sell me a key said there's multiples it could be so I didn't want to you know I don't want to pay a service call or a service fee for this so Long story short, we got it done ourselves. So if you like this video, click that thumbs up button. If you want to see uh, more videos of me tinkering with all kind of crap out here in the garage, click that subscribe button. And until the next video, guys, keep on tinkering.